never had a heart attack. Anymore. Yeah, he's had two heart attacks. He's had two heart attacks, okay. That's why I decided to bring him. I no, didn't no. know what to... You did the right thing, absolutely. He didn't want to come. So he's got both both hands are spasming and, and he's hyperventilating a little bit. And and when did the spasming in your hands, this carpal pedal spasm, when did this? That was scared me so much. I thought I was. Try to be still for me, okay, so we can get this picture. I thought of your heart. I would have this. Heart attack. Okay, I'm going to take a. Just, we'll, actually, I'll let you answer questions in a second. She's got to get the CKG. I'm trying, I'm trying. So, you probably have some numbness in your feet, too? Yes. My toes are numb. The toes are numb, and you're probably numb around your mouth, too? Yes. Okay. All right. So, this that's kind of classic for hyperventilation. So, ne nevertheless, um, prior heart attacks, if you had chest pain, chest pain can really kick off um, hyperventilation because you're afraid, and especially if you've had heart attacks in the past. And uh, but, but the hyperventilation is something that uh, is not so worrisome. It's I really, it's, 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 but we, we want to make sure, we want to make sure that it's not anything else going on that scared him and kicked him off. And that's what we need need to check into. I, I've actually seen patients who are having like supraventricular tachycardia, pulmonary emboli and all that who who start hyperventilating and it'd be very easy to just write it off. Oh, you're just anxious and frightened and hyperventilating and and then you miss the real diagnosis. So that's why this is it's important to do kind of like a teaching video here to let people kind of see this sort of thing. So my residents and all that will you take a look at that, but um, we'll protect his identity here, so no one. Will, I even I even blur out tattoos, so no oh. one can recognize him. My oh, my videos my videos end up on YouTube, and, and that's why I have a training um, um, channel. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's not as long as it's not for the health reasons to see Absolutely. help other people. Yeah, good. No Thank problem. you so much. I don't worry about he, if y'all if the tattoo ain't worried about that. Okay. There's many cooks in the world. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And and so basically, though, uh, you'll find electrolyte abnormalities. You'll find the CO2 drops well, way down. Uh, yesterday his his pH will be real high, and his calcium will drop down, too. Okay, he, he won't eat anything, but I, I got him some Powerade. Was that good? That should be okay. That I drank those all day yesterday. Powerade. How long have you been hyperventilating like this? This just started. I mean, like I said, I got up this morning. I was okay till I... So I'll get this normalness in my mouth he and in my hands. I was okay because I took my wife this morning. Oh, he I was took you okay. To work. Okay. And then when I got back to the house, I laid down for a minute. And I got up. I felt pretty decent. I wasn't throwing up in fact than I was yesterday. Okay. So then I got up and I went. Just went to try to clean up, straighten up the house a little bit. Then the next thing you know, I just started feeling right. normal in my mouth and then it hit my hands. And I, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I called my brother. To, Come bring me up here. Okay. All right. Good enough. Well, this isn't so worrisome. It's, I thought it's, I was having a, first. I thought I was having a, having a stroke. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's what scared me. I thought I was having a stroke. My head right. was locking up on me like this. Yep. My mouth. Yeah. <sighs> so just, I got two boys. I can't afford to be with my kids. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can you well. stop? Don't cry. You ain't nobody gonna take you from your boys. <sighs> But what's the time? It's happened for a while now. I don't even know so, why. So, you, so yesterday, for like a couple of days, been nausea and vomiting. Okay. I came in a couple of months ago. Where I've been in twice for the same thing, just violent throwing up and whatnot. Oh, you know what? Let me ask you. Let me ask you another question here. Um, uh, and, and this is not the man. I'm going to turn off the video for a second. There's a blood gas, 7.61, and P2 of 27. So that's kind of consistent with hyperventilation. So we've had a conversation here. It almost sounds like we, we're dealing also with a past history and of, of hyperemesis hyper cannabinoid syndrome too. So now I'm just talking to the patient's wife. He's sound asleep, snoring. He got he got some IV Haldol, and um, sounds like he, we stopped the marijuana two weeks ago. But he's still having the persistent vomiting and nausea. But he's also complaining of chest pain. He's got some stents. He's been smoking weed ever since he's 15, and he's 40. Yeah. How many episodes of this intermittent episodes of vomiting has he had? Uh, this is his third episode. A third episode. Mm -hmm. All right. The, and same, the same exact thing. Only thing was different that his um, hands had been, his hands and face wasn't numb you know, before. As far as the frequent vomiting and the chest pains, all that, 
Right, because when I saw him back in January, um, it was we 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 really focused on the chest pain, and at that time, the history of marijuana was downplayed a, a little bit, I think. So, but okay, I appreciate the fact that you let us do this video, and and uh, like I said, I'll hide his face. Doesn't matter. Okay. If this can help somebody else and, and get him, it's something he have to stop doing. So okay. Yeah, he's going to have to stop the marijuana. Yeah, It'll, it may be hard, but. The, the good point here is that the teaching point is, again, that he's been on Fenergan and Zofran at home, and it hasn't helped, but how much, how much, uh, how old did you give him? Five. Five, okay. And you just gave it five push with, five. with, 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 with 25 Aminadryl. And he didn't have any acesthesia or any, any side effects from it. That's a risk, but okay. That was our trusty nurse who's not on the video.